Welcome to Little Worship Company Bible Time. My name's Jo and I'm going to read a Bible story from the book of Luke 17, 11 to 19. It's called Jesus and the Ten Lepers. What clues do we have in the bag today to help us with our story? Ooh, a rag shawl. Oh, let's see how this is going to appear in the story, shall we? It was a lovely sunny day in Galilee. The perfect day for a long walk with God, or so Jesus thought, as he set out on the road to Jerusalem. For mile after mile, hour after hour, Jesus talked happily with his heavenly Father, giving thanks for his goodness and sharing his thoughts and concerns. When Jesus reached the edge of Samaria, he decided to take a break. He turned off the main road and headed towards a village to find some food. Suddenly, he stopped. Some people were calling his name. Jesus! Jesus! There was a wall surrounding the village. Standing a little way from the wall was a group of men. They were dressed in rags and huddled together. Jesus! Oh, over here! Jesus looked over to see one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten men calling and, and waving at him weakly. Jesus, Lord, help us, please. The men weren't well. They all had a terrible disease. They weren't allowed to go near other people in case they caught the disease too. It made the men very sad and very lonely. Jesus wanted to help them. Each one of them was a precious child of God and he wanted to show them just how much God cared for them. Friends, go and show yourselves to the priests, he called out to them. Now, the priests worked in God's house. They were respected by everyone in the area. People trusted their opinions. If the priests said that the men were well, then they would be able to go and live in the village again with their family and their friends. The men looked at each other. They, they looked at their arms and their legs. They looked at the sores and the broken skin. But when they looked at Jesus, they knew it would be all right. The 10 men ran off as fast as they could. And as they went, the disease disappeared. It vanished from their bodies. By the time they reached the priest, their skin was as fresh and as beautiful as a newborn baby's. One man jumped for joy. This is the best day of my life, he cried and ran off. Another beamed from ear to ear. I can't wait to see my wife, he said, as he dashed off to find his family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine healed and happy men headed for home. But when the tenth man realised he was well, he rushed back to Jesus and then he fell at his feet. Thank you, thank you, he said to Jesus. Glory to God who makes sick people better, the God who has made me well again. Jesus looked around. Friend, he said, weren't there ten men here before? The man nodded. Then where are the other nine? Jesus said, how come only one of you came back to give thanks to God? Jesus sighed. God was so good to everyone. He was always doing kind and wonderful things. But how many people noticed or remembered to say thank you? Jesus helped the man up. He laid his hands on him and smiled and said, Go, live your life to the full. Your faith in God's goodness has made you well. <laughs> God is so kind, isn't he? He loves each one of us so, so much. We have all been given so many things to be thankful for. What will you run back to thank him for today, I wonder? Thank you for watching Little Worship Company Bible Time. See you again next time. Oh, and why don't you say a thank you prayer to God for the good things he's given you?
watch Little Worship Company Bible Time Stories, you can subscribe here, or you can click here or here to watch more fun and inspiring videos.